The basic motion to play the harp is very simple. And what it is, it's a closing of the hand. Very, very simple. And this closing motion is coming from these first two knuckles. So that's very important. These, these last knuckles do very little work. They're, and they're the, they're the hardest to do something with. So we're taking advantage of the fact that it's much easier to apply force with these first two knuckles. And we're just closing the fingers so that the fingers move right into the base of the palm. So you don't want to curl. See, we don't want to curl these last set of knuckles. Nothing like this. Instead, the fingers are just closing nicely into the base of the palm. And at the same time, the thumb is wrapping around, wrapping around that space between this knuckle and this knuckle. So this motion is something that you can practice away from the harp. Any time you got a little free time, time to kill, just practice this closing motion until it feels really natural. So it's, it's very important and again that the hand is closing all the way into the palm. The fingers aren't curling. No, no, no curling, just into the palm. So once you have that, all it takes is Remembering this, you know, elbows up, wrists down, thumb up, fingers down. Let's place the first finger on a string. And again, that, that angle, that 45 degree angle, the side of the finger is on the string. And now all we're going to do is just close the hand, just like this. Sound. There we are. We've, we've played the harp. my thumb isn't playing anything but it's still closing and this finger isn't playing anything but it's still closing the whole hand is closing it's opening and closing staying very relaxed it's very important throughout all this that you stay as relaxed as possible so if if it doesn't feel relaxed then you need to examine that and figure out you know what, what's going on and why doesn't this feel relaxed because the only way to play something fast and loud is to be as relaxed as possible. <laughs> 